right now. We're ready to rock. Boom, blowing up the screens. So here's the deal. Just want to officially welcome everybody to the Tuesday night recognition webinar. And uh, as always, my name is Daniel Kump. I am your host and one of the top leaders with Now Lifestyle. I have a very cool, very super awesome guest right over here. His name is Stan Simmons, and we're going to get to him in just a second. But here's the deal. What I want you guys to do, if you haven't already, if you haven't already, have some paper, have a pen, get ready to take some notes because not only are we going to uh, dazzle you with some uh, information and some knowledge, but we also want to give you guys some concrete golden nuggets. Look at this guy. He's, he's presenting tonight and he's getting ready to take some notes, okay? That's how prepared this guy is. That's how prepared you should be and getting ready to... Um, you know, listen to what we have to say. And hopefully if you can just take one thing, one thing from tonight's webinar and apply that into your business, that will help your business grow. That will help you make more money. That will help you sponsor more people and all that super awesome, amazing stuff. So my man, my man, and don't worry, I snuck this out a couple minutes ago, but I'm gonna let you guys know now there's a special guest that's about to chime in here in a, in a few minutes. I'm gonna bring them on in, in, in just a few. But first, first, I want to introduce my very, very special guest tonight, Mr. Stan Simmons from Minnesota, right? Is that where you you're from, bet. Stan? You bet. Awesome. So, Stan, just say hi to uh, all of Now Lifestyle and just uh, give a very quick introduction. Well, hi, everybody. My brothers and my sisters, uh, we're all on this team together and we're all trying to make some money. So let's stay with it. Um, I'm from Minnesota. I'm actually from a town called Shakopee, which is an Indian town, uh, south of Minneapolis, about 25 minutes south. So I'm still kind of a city guy. Um, that uh, is all about what I have to say <laughs> about <laughs> where I live. Okay. Um, well, we'll, know, uh, we'll pick up in just in just a few minutes. Um, first, I just. I have a, a special guest, and the, and the story with these guys is, is pretty funny because um, they have actually worked with Stan and actually are realistically responsible for the team that helped bring Stan into this business. So uh, without further ado, I would like to bring on a very special guest who are here to uh, drop some value bombs and obviously uh, add some value to this amazing webinar that you guys are about to watch tonight. So again, be prepared to take some notes. Uh, let's welcome the A team from Omaha, Nebraska here, and uh, I'm sure they are going to uh, have some have a little bit of fun because it's Adam. It's that type of day, isn't it? Dude, it is like that type of day times ten. You've been through it. Stan, the man's been through it, and uh, <laughs> Ashley will be here any second. Um, here's the thing, guys. Winners find a way. Okay, and a lot of the times. The production that you see Daniel put on every Tuesday, which is awesome. There's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes that uh, when he comes on live, you maybe don't understand that he was just doing stuff all day to put it together. And that's the, the, uh, the truth stand. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, yeah, we talked uh, this afternoon. We, we were having trouble getting my picture up on the conference room. Trouble as we, in about an hour and a half we spent together. <laughs> yeah. I, but, yeah. About an hour and a half. Good social visit. Um, so we had it. I got off to uh, do some work and try to figure out. We thought it was on my side, and uh, finally, uh, we got thought we got something going. The next thing you know, I lost my internet, so I couldn't even get on the internet. Uh, I got back on the internet. Then it, I said I didn't have a camera, so <laughs> I'm at this. And now we're here, and I've been on the on this since I don't know what it was. <laughs> Took up this afternoon to try to get a mug up there on, on the screen. I so, just got to tell yeah. you guys, anybody that's watching this right now, if you knew what Stan Simmons' downline it looks like, and he built that thing over the last month, you would start listening much more closely to what he's going to say and to what Daniel's going to tell you tonight. Because it's people like Stan that Ashley and I have been so blessed to connect with that has helped us start to create an organization um, that's hopefully making a whole bunch of noise in that lifestyle because 
Oh, it is. Daniel told me in the beginning, if you want to make noise, I'll help you do it. And I said, I want to go get like 10 megaphones and start shouting in them. And that's what he's helped us do. And it's led us to people like Stan Simmons, who's just such a awesome winner. And he's got some perspective from life that a lot of people maybe never heard before. And I'm just excited to sit back and listen to his story. Cool, dude. Okay. Well, Stan, you ready for this or what, man? I'm, I'm ready to go. Let me know what you want. <laughs> right. Adam, appreciate the insight, man. And uh, yeah, okay. I mean, that's true, man. It, if it wasn't if it wasn't for Adam and Ashley, Stan wouldn't even be here. Okay, so that's true. That is absolutely true. So it's it's always uh, uh, it's funny how these things work. But uh, yeah, exactly to what Adam said, guys. Uh, Stan, in a very short amount of time, has uh, started to build a large team. And uh, yeah, correct me, Stan, if I'm wrong, but you're all in and you're going to uh, the event in October. You're going to the national event. Absolutely, wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> Either walk, drive, or fly. Either yeah, way. That's called, and it's a win it right there, folks. That's called leading by example, and that's called doing whatever it takes right there. Okay. So, so Stan, uh, my man, yeah. riddle me this. What made you, you know, all right, let's just, let's just be honest here. Let's just kind of be forthright with everybody. Stan, you're 82 years old. That is correct? affirmative. You're 82 years old. What is making you say, I want to start an online business? What made you say, I'm going to take a business online and I'm going to start running with that? Well, you know, the simple answer, and I think what most people think when they start this thing or think about it is the money. I want to make the money. Um, but I've done that before. Uh, and I get going and quit. I, I, I don't. I don't get the response I want and I give up and I just throw it away. I did a real estate deal, made 15,000 on one deal. It's pretty exciting. And I quit because I didn't know what my why was. I didn't know why I was doing it other than the money. And Are after I got- Having a why is important? <laughs> it's the difference between uh, success and failure. If you don't know why you're doing this, uh, you're gonna fail, period. There's no question about that. And, um, Golden nugget number one. <laughs> um, and just so some of you on there will uh, recognize the name. I was a MOBE affiliate and I was trying to go platinum, uh, which won't mean anything to a lot of you, but that's okay. Anyway, I coughed up $2,500 down payment on platinum, which cost 10,000 in MOBE. They cleared my money and then they shut the, the system. The MOBE got shut down by the, FTC the day after they got my money and um, but so I had a let's just clear this up for everybody okay. here so you were involved in an online business prior to now right. lifestyle you invested ten thousand dollars and then right. right after that the company gets shut down by the FTC and then you're gone right. ghost like money's and I'm gone. gone yeah and so um, you could have easily just thrown in the chips and said peace I'm out of here I could but have no, I could why have, you, but why did you? Well, keep yeah, I could have, but it was my why. I, I was doing that for a couple of reasons. One, I found out my pension uh, is only funded 70% by the company. So they don't have the money to pay for my pension. And if it drops to 68% funding, the federal government steps in to make sure the, the uh, pension fund doesn't fail. Now, I don't know what that means, but I suspect that my pension will drop. And if it drops even 50 bucks a month, um, I can't live where I'm living now. It's that tight. And so when I heard that, that's when I got started in uh, the other company. And when it quit, I just said, I can't wait. I got to get on something else. And I went up uh, on the internet and I uh, think I keyed in Moab again, mentioning that name, and Ashley and Adam Reeker's video came up. Actually, it was Ashley's video came up. So I got in touch with them and, and we got to talk to Ashley. And Stan, let me, just, let me just stop you right there, bud. Without yeah. saying it, without saying it, Stan just said it. That's golden nugget number two. Because Adam and Ashley made a video 
put that video on YouTube, which had the keyword MOBE in it, timing on their part, because they saw the timing in an opportunity. They created a YouTube video. They weren't afraid to make a video. They put the video up on YouTube, had the keyword MOBE in it. Stan does a search for MOBE, sees their video, and guess what? We're all here hanging out tonight. Pretty cool. Go ahead, Stan. And, and they just, I mean, they were, and Ashley was dynamite when I talked to her on the phone. We had a very long conversation. Uh, she had me completely um, awestruck and fired up. And uh, I bet, and she referred me to uh, one of her downlines. And then we signed up, I think, that day. Got, got the thing going. And uh, uh, just as fast as I could, I went all in. Um, and here I am. And uh, I'm looking at... Uh, I think I, I have 20 sales, or not 20 sales, I have 12 sales. I've got um, about 60 some odd people in my downline, in my immediate downline. And um, so you've personally sponsored 16 people. Um, yeah, actually, yeah, about 16 people is what I sponsored personally. Awesome. Awesome. Um, Stan, what, what, what made you go all in right off the bat? What made you, what, like, you saw now lifestyle. You saw the opportunity. You talked to your upline. What made mm -hmm. you say? Or, you know, maybe it was a combo of all that. But what made you say yes to going all in right away? Okay, it, it was an easy decision for me. Um, I'm 82, as everybody knows by now. Um, my parents, my grandparents, on my male side, got to 87. So I don't know how many years I got left. I'm pretty uh, healthy, but. Time is of the essence for me. And I knew I could do this if I had the time and wanted to start slowly and, you know, do ads, do the advertising, but very um, quietly. And, and I couldn't trade time for money. I want to trade money for time. And so the only way I can make this grow faster than what is currently growing is to go all in, which is what I did. And now I'm buying uh, GPSUs, which are guaranteed uh, leads. And I'm also doing HQ solo ads. So that way I have a constant inflow of leads and I get in touch with them and try to uh, show them how I can help them because that's what I wanna do. Um, I want to help those people, and I have two uh, causes that I want to help, and I got to have some money to do that. One is my church, the other is uh, St. Jude's Cancer Research Hospital, and I'm not advertising either one of them, but <laughs> uh, but I have two things that I'm particularly interested in. I got them up on my vision board with a couple of uh, tigers protecting my charities and protecting me, and so. Nobody can mess with Stan, not with the Tigers there. there. So, um, so, yeah, let me just, just kind of recap right there. I mean, so you were in a business that you literally just invested ten thousand dollars in, and obviously that was a that was a big hit because you invested such a large amount of money, and then right after that the company gets shut down. Because of your why, and I want to, I want to fall back to your why in a minute here. Because of your why, you want to keep going. You see now lifestyle. You do a search online. You find a video made by these two right here, and you connect with them. You get started. You see the value in the opportunity. You see the value in the company. You go all in, and then right after that, you start taking action. Now it's the action that we're going to talk about in, in in a second, but. Stan, why don't you just kind of share with everybody, like, what what is your why? What's really pushing you um, towards success right now? Okay. The reason I want to do this, I do have a, a dream car up on the vision board, too. But that's not my primary reason. My primary so, reason so you do is... you have a vision board? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's a big one. And uh, so far, I mean, you're, you're hitting, you're like batting a thousand. I'm just, <laughs> just telling you. Uh, it has everything on there you could imagine. My wise, the fact that it takes money. I've got a couple of homeless guys to remind me to keep going. Um, I've got some uh, dream rocks and I have a homeless guy staring at the dream rocks 
wondering whatever happened to my dream. And uh, so that keeps me in there. I got a picture of a jail. I got to maintain my integrity and my honesty so I don't end up on the wrong side of the opportunity. There you go. Uh, okay, well, and all kinds of places to visit. The Taj Mahal, Eiffel Tower, Leaning Tower of Pisa. I've been to two of those, uh, the Pisa and the, and the Eiffel Tower. Um, but there's a lot of other places I haven't been, and I would like to visit those as kind of my bucket list. So much good stuff that I haven't seen. And the more I'm on the internet, the more I find out how little I know about this planet and how not everybody is running around in loincloths and spears. Um, they're, they're as modern as we are, <laughs> regardless of their uh, political affiliations. And that's good to know. It's good to know. Um, so Stan, what's your why? What's pushing why, you? Why? Why? My, char my two charities and the fact that if my pension goes, I have to move out of where I am. And that means lo losing, uh, having a lo less of a lifestyle, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm, ha I'm happy. I can live right now as long as nothing changes monetarily. I can survive. Not worried about that. But I don't have the freedom. I got lots of time, but I don't have the freedom. And uh, it was so bad that uh, I actually turned off my disconnect in my television carrier. So I have no TV. I haven't watched the news. I haven't watched any of my favorite shows in two months now. Uh, well, one month and counting. Um, so it sounds like you're, it. Trading, you're trading TV shows for building a business. Correct. Seems like, That's seems basically like a fair what trade. I'm doing. You know, and uh, which bring you know this business is so easy, uh, so simple, and like Warren Buffett says, people just have a knack for making simple things complicated. And I'm no different. I got started and boy, did I have questions. And I wasn't getting the answers that I wanted. So that confused me more. And I kept asking, you know, and it just made it, you know, and it's, you know, bit, well, I mean, you've heard it before. You're going to hear it from me. Uh, build your lead capture system. Okay. Um, buy leads, advertise, and follow up. And those are the three things you got to do. Don't have to complicate it. Just do those three things and you'll be fine. So uh, that, follow up being the most important. Exactly. And that takes us into after you got started and you started taking action, what are, you know, what are some specific things? So besides, you know, the leads, like what are spe specific things that you actually did to jumpstart your business? Because obviously uh, you're growing a significant team. You're growing it very quickly. Tell everybody exactly what you did right from the get go. Okay. Well, the first thing I did, I bought five guaranteed paid signups. Okay. The very start. first thing I did. And um, then I knew I had to run some ads and I was led to a lead provider or a click provider by the name of Alessandro Serra, I think is his last name. Yep. And uh, I bought some uh, clicks from him and they cost me 45 cents and that was fantastic. And before I knew it, I right now I have about 900 people in my follow in my uh, broadcast file uh, just from doing that a couple of times. And it just- So hang on a minute, hang on a minute. So how long have you been with Now Lifestyle? About a month? Uh, I joined them in June, uh, June, well, uh, some, uh, June 25th. So literally, it's, as in, it's been a month. It's been a it's month. It's been a good month, yeah. So in in thirty days, you've built a lead. You've built a lead list of nine hundred. Um, Did I hear yeah, that? My, yeah, nine hundred. And you know they they unsubscribe, but then more come in and. <laughs> no, I, mean, I, want, I want everybody to be aware that Stan's been in this for thirty days, twenty nine to be exact. Okay. The very first okay. thing he did is he bought some guaranteed paid signups to jumpstart his business, and then he started driving traffic. In 30 days, he has built a list of 900 people. I'm pretty sure that's going to help his business grow, and that is called taking massive action. He goes all in. He's building a huge list, huge for 30 days. He has guaranteed paid signups. Oh, and by the way, he's going to the national event in October. 
That is called the win-win attitude. That is called doing what it takes. And that is called absolutely doing whatever it takes to win. So before I kick it back to you, Stan, A-Team, over to you guys. I know you guys have worked very uh, closely with Stan and obviously helped bring him in. What are your thoughts on everything that he's doing right now? Well, number one, I grew up a wrestler, and wrestlers don't cry, but their eyeballs will sweat from time to time. <laughs> And Stan was getting pretty close there. Dude, Stan, man, thank you so much for being the man that you are. Because you, you're a unicorn on this planet. And you know what? Anybody that's listening to this right now, do you understand that at 82 years old, that man's dream in his heart hasn't died, but some of you will quit when somebody tells you no? Come on. Stop it. That's the first piece. Here's the second piece. Jen Weeman has done a phenomenal job since day one when she came on. Um, she The first time that Jen talked to Stan, she reached out to us right away, and she's like, I love Stan. He is so awesome. And then what happened was he just started taking action. Everything that he just said he was going, that he is done, he's done. Now, Stan, I want you to understand too, just man to man, every goal you want to reach on this, I am 100% committed to making sure that that happens in your life. Okay, that's my goal, five years. <clears throat> and I'll, I'll get there. One million in five years is what I want. And- uh, Oh, child's play. <laughs> I, I think someone on this thread said stan you're my hero so oh, you're getting massive, <laughs> massive love and shouts on the uh on the chat yeah for sure uh, thank you for that i didn't see it but thank you for that awesome <laughs> okay um a right. hey, team i appreciate that stan so i mean uh, it's obvious that you're 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 taking some some serious action here which is which is great and I think you're leading by example you're showing everybody that age is just a number you have your vision board you've gone all in you're getting at the convention you're, you're doing all the things that it takes you've ruled out every excuse and I think everybody here that has a big old butt can just basically throw that out the window because you know <laughs> dude if you can do it there, there's no excuse for anybody realistically mm -hmm. there's there, you've wiped every excuse off the table for anybody so um, I appreciate you sharing that with us. Now, what are some other things like on, on a day-to-day -day basis that you're doing to help your business? Now, you mentioned follow-up. Obviously, that's a big one. What type of ways are you actually following up with your list? Uh, right now, mostly phone calls. Um, I'll shoot them an email um, through regular, regular email to my, uh, my best email address. Um, and... Uh, just try to keep them uh, occupied and positive mindset. And I've got someone that's kind of excited or getting excited, <laughs> but we have a little language barrier. I think she's uh, from Vietnam, so we have a little challenge there, but uh, we're gonna get that going and, uh, and she'll be good. She's already bought some products, so uh, I think she'll be fine. So, uh, but that, that's mainly it. I don't, I don't complicate it. Um, uh, I try. Uh, one of the things I have to do is send out broadcast messages every single day. So you I'm not there you yet, but I have. I figured something out. I created five broadcasts that I didn't queue up. I called them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Monday and Tuesday are done for next week. Okay, now I've got three more days to do, and then I'll have a whole week to do it over again. And I'll just put it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And since I always go to the broadcast over there anyways, uh, it'll keep reminding me not to fall behind. Uh, and so I can keep the broadcast messages going because some of these people, yeah, they have an interest, but they got other priorities. They're, you know, it's a casual interest. They forget about it. Life gets intervened. Uh, somebody's having a massive party and uh, they end up in rehab. So, <laughs> but I had a good party and uh, that's not a negative guys. I'm just saying. Um, the, uh, so you keep sending them broadcast messages 
And every once in a while, one of those 900 is going to pick it up and say, that solves my problem. Yeah. Wow. Let me look into this. And bingo, you've got a lead, an excited lead who's looking specifically for what we offer. And they'll sign up and, and they'll be good, uh, good business owners. I think and that's perfect, so man. I mean, you're. You said you broadcast, you send a broadcast, which is a daily email from your autoresponder or lead capture mm -hmm. system to your list. Your list of 900, by the way, that you've built in the last 29 days. Just throwing that out there, guys. Just throwing that out there. Um, so now let's say, let's take it from there. You have one of those leads that sees the opportunity and then they turn around and they sign up. They land in your holding tank. Things get a little more exciting. Once somebody actually lands in your holding tank, Stan, what do you do from there? How do you connect with that person and, and show them, obviously, the value of Now Lifestyle? That's a good question. And I'm going to tell you honestly, uh, with my first five GPSUs, put them in the holding tank, put them underneath me, and that was it. I didn't do anything. And mm -hmm. guess what they did? Nothing. <laughs> uh, one of them called me and said, how fast can I make money? I have my wife's having an operation and I said, well, not that fast. And uh, so he's still there. I think he canceled, but that's OK. He may come back and he's still going to get broadcast messages. So uh, he was a nice guy. Um, since then, uh, I've got to do and will do on from here on out. I did on one uh, from every GPSU now or every holding tank will get a call from me the moment it comes in. Yep. If they don't answer the phone, I'm going to shoot them an email. If they don't mm -hmm. answer my email, I'm going to shoot them a text message. And then I'm going to find them on Facebook. When you when you get people in your holding tank, you physically pick up the phone and you call them. If they have a phone number, absolutely. If they don't. Why, why would you call them? <clears throat> because I want them to know, number one, who I am. I want them to know that I'm here to help them, that I'm doing the same thing. You'll be doing the exact same thing that I'm doing. And it's easy. I get you set up in 15 minutes. And all you got to do from that point is drive the traffic. It's as simple as that. And yes, you're going to have to invest so 13 in advertising. Bombs in about 40 seconds yeah. right there that he just dropped. So, dude, if you guys aren't paying attention, just log off and go to like bed or something like that because Stan's killing it right now. There's just uh, a really great basic, Stan, that I really hope people are paying attention. I hope they're taking notes because... Mm -hmm. You're keeping it real. You're literally keeping it real, and you're 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 keeping it stupid simple. And mm -hmm. just out of curiosity, was it this simple in, in your other online opportunities? No, it it took me two months before I ever bought a lead. And it took me my coach. They signed me up with a coach when I advanced, and he didn't get back to me for two weeks. And I was furious. And here you, you know, are. I got a whole this money, you know, and I can't even talk to the guy. And then when I finally talked to him, he said, oh, I was on vacation, uh. <laughs> which is fine. He could take vacation. But why did they give me a coach that wasn't going to respond? Uh, because that was the whole idea. My coach just prior to that, uh, uh, Drew Innes, some of you know, him, is a great coach. And he responded right away. And we were in very close contact. And I thought that was going to be like that for all the coaches. Well, not. I found out that wasn't the case. Um, and then before yeah, I could ever check it out, you got some of your coaches doing a webinar with you. <laughs> not bad, huh? Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Nick Lord was another good coach. Um, uh, and that's the end of my good coach story for that opportunity. So. Uh... <laughs> Dan, if you, if you would do me do me a favor, man. Why don't, sure. Tell everybody about your shirt a little bit. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. It says "Warning: Insufficient Memory." Okay, I, I got that from Micro Center, which is a computer store. Some of you may know of it. Um, I bought it because I'm a computer nut, and have been. That was my career. Um, and insufficient memory was the history in computers. They constantly ran out of memory. And even now, every time they build a bigger and better computer, they still run out of memory. They've never figured <laughs> it out. 
I figured it out on one system that we designed and implemented that as far as I know is still running from 1967. So, and it never runs out, never ran out of memory. Okay, uh, because of the way we designed it. But anyway, at any rate. Um, <laughs> the, I digress. <laughs> but this also reminds me that I can't remember everything. And I don't make, and so I'm making checklists. What to do? Uh, what do I do in the morning? What do I do in the evening in regards to promoting and uh, expanding my business? Uh, I don't have to spend a, a, most of the time. And that time is actually making progress. Any time in between there, I don't count. Staring at emails doesn't count as progress. So, um, so I make that, that list. And I go down it and I don't miss anything on that list. I was a pilot in the Navy and we were told never memorize your checklist. And the reason for that was so many pilots crashed and burned because they memorized their checklist and forgot to put down the landing gear or their flaps or something like that and just flew the dang things into the ground. I watched one do that. Um, so that's stuck. That's been in my mind from the sixties, uh, fifties, like fifties. Yeah. Fifties. So that's a long time ago when I was flying. So, uh, but anyway, that's the story behind insufficient memory. Keep it in mind. You don't know everything. I don't know everything. I never will know everything. And in my 30 year career with programming, every time I decided I knew everything, everything went to pot and Ashley can attest to that. Okay. <laughs> Just think, and you know, people come up to you and say for advice, and you know, I'll figure it out yourself. And I had a supervisor, a manager who said, Stan, you can figure it out, go away and come back with the solution. And I did. And that's what got me, made me valuable, number one, because I figured it out on my own, didn't waste his time doing it for me. Uh, but again, ego got in the way, and I thought, oh. I'm, I'm the few. We were in the airline industry, computer-wise, and, uh, and, and it just happened. Things would go wrong, systems would go down, um, you know, and then it was stand fix it, uh, which I did. So I could tell a story that has nothing to do. <laughs> uh, yes, I, um, I will tell. It's a real quick story. I had a programmer, and we gave her the design, the specs. Told her to flow chart it. She flow charted it. We said, you're good to go. Write the code. We put it online. This is a 24-7 online operation. And the system went down. So we looked at her code and said, but you didn't do any error checking. They said, well, she's typing in, typing in, doing transactions. And she said, they're not supposed to do it that way. She other to check if they were doing it right, and it brought the system down instantly. So I guess the thing is, do what your upline tells you to do. He knows what he's doing. If you have questions, ask him. If he doesn't know, he'll tell you he don't know. He'll find out, and then he'll go find out and let you know. And then he'll learn something, and you'll learn something. So, and that's the way it gets better here is when we work as a team, not as competitors. So, mm. amen. Mm. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know how anyone could watch this or watch this replay and, and just not not be inspired to take action, man. I think you you hit the mm. nail on the head in, in so many ways. And like I said in the very, very beginning, I hope you guys are taking notes. I hope you guys are writing some, some stuff down because Stan is the – I would, I would love to duplicate this man and have 5,700 of him in my downline because I would, I would never have to work a day in my life again. And yeah. these <laughs> folks like Stan and like the A-Team and Alex Rizzo and Jen Weeman and Amanda Cole Cusher and all these other people that have been on this, uh, these webinars are all just everyday people just like yourself. These folks are out there. All you got to do is take a little bit of action and bring them towards you. But you're not going to grow your business if you sit on your butt and don't do anything. So get your damn butt out of the way. Be like Stan. Take some action. Get some guaranteed paid signups. Get some Facebook leads. Drive some traffic. When you get people in your holding tank, pick up your damn phone. Call them and start plugging them in. 
you might not know all the answers just like Stan, just like Adam or Ashley, but you find the answers and then you figure out what it is. That's it. That's it. There so I, I have a challenge for everybody. Okay? Bring it, dude. Bring it. Tomorrow night, I will have five people in my holding tank. That's a commitment. I promise. Done. Okay? I do what you say and I believe it, man. Okay. And I will be following them up tomorrow night as well. So we'll be in touch with them. And um, that's one of the leaky parts of my business right now. And so we got to stop that. Right. <laughs> Slap me upside the head. Boom, boom. <laughs> I just got to touch on this if I can have a second, Daniel. <laughs> um, everything that Stan was just telling you guys is absolutely what he did his first month in the business. He got in and he just took massive action. He didn't ask anybody's permission. He said, this is my business. I'm going to go build it. He's like, I'll learn it along the way, which he has. Uh, we got the opportunity to touch base with Stan. I think, Stan, it was uh, this last Sunday, right? Yes, it was. Absolutely. And that was the first time that we started explaining to him the follow-up, only because I wasn't aware that there was that was missing. Now, if you want to see a business really explode, wait the next 60 to 90 days because Stan is going to be following up properly. And he's going to start using this conference software that we're on right now because Stan will teach you. And if you want to see a downline absolutely explode, wait until Stan is being duplicated because that day is coming very, very soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That is it. the truth there, folks. <laughs> so, hey, listen, everybody, if you haven't taken action yet, you need to start taking action. You need to take action now because this team is growing. Stan's team is growing. The A team's growing. My team's growing. NLS is growing like crazy right now. And I can promise you this, and not this isn't just a promise. This is a stone-cold guaranteed fact. The longer you think about it and don't take action, the more money you lose, period. Because if you're not locking yourself into a position right now, the next person is. That's it. The more you wait, the more money you lose. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. So Stan, one last question for you, my friend. For all the folks that are watching this, that are thinking about getting started, that maybe signed up but haven't done anything yet. What did your What is your advice to that brand new person or the person that's almost gotten started? What is your advice to them? Well, it, my advice would be and is, if you're thinking about starting a business, stop thinking. Enroll, get started. If you wait until you know everything about a business before you start, guess what? You'll never start. It's better to start a business, make mistakes, fix the mistakes and move on. And that's what happens in every business on the planet, including the big ones, Microsoft, who still makes lots of mistakes <laughs> and don't always correct them quickly. So <laughs> sorry about that, but that's true. Start doing it. Uh, don't give up. That's another thing too. Um, every many many people give up the day before they're successful, and they never know that they were a day away. And that's happened so many times to so many people. Um, I don't want that to happen to me, and it's not going to happen to me. I'm not going to give up. I'm going along on this thing, and if I get you know if I hit a plateau, I'll just keep using a technical term, I'll keep split testing until something changes and starts moving again. Uh, Cause then times change and what works today may or may not work next week, or it may work for five years. You don't know. So you don't have to worry about that now. Keep it simple, get started, get your team going, get them excited, get them to do what you do. And I mentioned the follow-ups because my team is doing exact, a lot of my team is doing exactly what I'm doing or been doing. And that didn't help, doesn't help. So, uh, you know, just do it. Um, you know, it's, first of all, if you haven't paid your dollar, 
um, pay your dollar. And believe me, I would get into, yeah, one dollar. If you haven't got one dollar and you can't spend one dollar, then you're not on the right webinar. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> okay. Um, and then make the commitment. Spend the fifty dollars. That for some people is a lot of money. But what that will do will give you the motivation to make this thing work so you can get your money back and make some positive gains. That's what this is all about. Okay. If oh. oh, we lost him. I hope he wasn't clicking around too much there. <laughs> I don't think he was. Man, though. anybody that was on that webinar is so fortunate to have been on it. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I don't know what happened there, but um, we'll just back out of here for a second. I don't know. Uh, let me see here. Stan, if you can hear us, we lost you. <laughs> I think. Yeah, I, don't I think. Know. I think God just said, okay, that's all the nuggets you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. So, guys, here's here's the deal. Here's here's the deal. Uh, looks like we lost the A team, too. That's weird. Everyone can still hear me, right? You guys can see me. You can hear me. We still good? Yeah, yeah. All right, good, good, good. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which one's coming back. Oh, you guys. We lost you guys for a second. We're back. All right. So, guys, here's the deal. And, and this, I'm just going to take 10 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, and just be completely honest with you. Stan is 82 years old, 82 years young, okay? Yeah. yeah. He has a vision board. He came, all on, he came on board. He went all in because he saw the value. He started taking action. In less than 30 damn days, he built a list of over 900 people. He sponsored, personally sponsored 16 people and has now people on his team duplicating what he is doing. He is on his way to building a very large team. And oh, by the way, he is going to the national event in October. The man is doing everything in his power to make it. So what the F is your excuse if you haven't gotten started yet? That's all I got. I'll tell you what, man. He comes from a generation where uh, people didn't make excuses. They got it done. And everybody's so soft in today's age where if it doesn't happen overnight, they say it's broken or it doesn't work. What's broken and doesn't work is, is the mentality and the thought process of generations that are coming up today. I mean, I would, it's, I believe I will get to be an 82 year old man like Stan. I, I hope and pray that I do. But that's a guy that's not stopped living a day in his life. And he is just so awesome. And there he is. Back hey, again. back again. <laughs> Press the right button for a change. <laughs> <laughs> you split tested that, didn't you, Stan? <laughs> nice. Oh, well, I was tired of being on the left. I'm really a, kind of a on the right anyway. So. <laughs> Figured there was a reason. <laughs> there you go. Well, listen, um, we'll open it up real quick. I don't want to spend a lot of time, but if anybody has any quick questions for Stan or the A-team or myself, plop them down below now. Um, we'll answer a few questions and then we'll call it a night. Stan, I really just, while we're waiting for some questions come in, I truly, from the bottom of my heart, I know I speak for the A-team when I say thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inspiring everybody that got to see this now and they get to catch the replay. Uh, your true inspiration, to all of Now Lifestyle and everybody that watches this. And uh, I just want to thank you for being here and thank you for just being you and doing what you do. Oh, I had one add on. I just happened to think about it. <laughs> yeah, please go. I, I did. I did my elevator speech to two people today. I got my nice. hair cut, and I talked to her about making some extra money, and then I talked to someone else about. It. I remember who it was, <laughs> but I sounded them. You know, I sounded them, sounded them, and they didn't seem all that. <laughs> but she's she's a star. She, and I'll get her. She'll be in this thing. She's got eight kids. She's uh, uh, determination. You know, she's got four degrees. Four degrees. Wow. And she cuts hair. She happens every day. You know, and um, yeah, and she lives off of that. Yeah. Along with wow. the eight kids. So, and then she has a thing in her at her home. So I'm gonna work on her because this would get her some passive income. Nice. She does the job. So anyway, that's it. Uh, thank you so much for having me. It, it's been a delight. I've learned a lot, believe it or not. Um, 
and uh, I guess I'm not as nervous as I was at the Good. beginning of this. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be, Stan. You're uh, you're so awesome, man. I mean, you 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 added so much value tonight. We just really appreciate you, and we're just excited to continue to work with you. And I know Jen is also. So. Okay, great, great. I haven't heard from Jen in a little while. I'll shoot her an email. Okay. Oh, yeah, she, she's been on vacation with her family. But oh, okay. You'll always have a coach that you can reach out to in Now Lifestyle. I guarantee okay. you that. <laughs> great, awesome. great. I do want to chime in on a question. Someone said, uh, how do I inspire someone that says they don't have a dollar? Um, this is going to sound blunt, but this is, I'm being dead honest. Don't waste your time. Yes. Move on. Just keep going. Amen. If you can't fix everybody, nope. plain and simple. So don't try. When someone says I'm broke and I can't do this, just keep going. Just say, hey, I'm sorry. It's a great system. Let me know when you're ready. That's it. Keep going. Bye. See you later. Other than that, I mean, you're, you'll, you'll spend too much time spinning your wheels and you'll get nowhere. <laughs> yes, sir. So other than that, it, I mean, I, I didn't. I don't know if I, I missed any questions, but um, Stan, so many positives, so many positive comments coming in for you, brother. Again, really, truly appreciate you being on here. Uh, thank you again from the bottom of my heart. I know you've inspired a ton of people tonight. So um, other than that, um, uh, well, you're gonna have to find out who your sponsor is. Um, go to Reseller Tools, your business, and then downline. And then you'll be able to see who your sponsor is. Send them an email and see if they'll reach out to you. If they won't, um, post something in the Facebook group and whatever questions you have, I'm sure somebody will definitely help you out. Um, all right, cool. What about people with the fear factor? I'm not sure. I mean, I, the show is cool, but I don't know what you mean with the fear factor. I'm not sure what you, your fear is, but... Whatever it is, you can get past it. If Stan can yep. do it, you can do it, man. That's it. I'll mention that. <laughs> yep. Every successful business has a fear factor. All successful people stay out of their comfort zone. Your comfort zone is sitting there watching TV, mm -hmm. um, mind-numbing shows that you like. And I like my mind-numbing shows, too, but I don't watch them. So... Everything you do will have fear in it, but once you do it, the fear goes away immediately. You find out there's nothing to be afraid of. I mean, I got nervous uh, the moment I started seeing something on 3LE about me coming on tonight. I went, oh my God. And then and somewhere else on Skype, I saw it and I'm going, oh, gee. And I, oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm done now. I got to show up. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, Steve, we're so glad that you did. I mean, absolutely awesome. Uh, so just, just glad the the camera came on. I don't know what I did or what anybody did, but I'm just happy that worked, and hopefully it'll work again. I think it was again. divine intervention, to be honest with you. Something just clicked, and it worked. <laughs> Who knows if you clicked it or somebody else did? Who cares? <laughs> I don't care. It was on, and I, ha I had a blast tonight. It was really, Sometimes really things cool. Things just happen for a reason. I'll tell you the truth, guys, and I already messaged Daniel about this because that's fired up. Ash and I got no-show two times in a row tonight. That literally never happens, ever. And at the same time... Um, <laughs> Daniel just said, hey, you guys want to hop on? I was like, yes, absolutely, but I might get a little passionate. And then right before that, Stan's video pops on. And if all of those things hadn't fallen in place, there's no way this webinar is, is so awesome. I mean, seriously, things just happen for a reason when, when you're doing things the right way. Yep. If you so. think good, good things will happen. If you think bad, yep. bad things will happen. So that's absolutely. It. All right, guys, listen. I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's webinar. I really, really hope you guys took some notes. Uh, yes, there will be a replay of this because our man Carlos Lu Luero uh, <laughs> records every single one of these because he is the man. Fist pump, blow it up, brother. Appreciate that. Um, so that is it, man. Uh, again, thank you, Stan, sincerely. Uh, A-team, thank you guys for jumping on. Uh, if you guys thought this was a great webinar, throw some uh, applause down for us below. Throw some applause for the A-team and Stan. And uh, let us know how much you appreciate the value that was dropped tonight and the value wow. that we're going to continue to bring you every single week as we do these webinars, our Monday webinars with the A-Team, 
Tuesday recognition webinars, Wednesday with John and Richard, and Thursday with Janet. So we love bringing you guys value. We love helping you guys out. And we love seeing your team grow. And if you're still sitting on the fence and you haven't taken action, take some damn action now. Get going. On that, we'll see you guys live on the next video. As always, we'll see you on the leaderboard, just like Stan hit today, by the way. We didn't yeah! even- Yeah! <laughs> I didn't even check it. <laughs> <laughs> over there hit the leaderboard today so congratulations to him um and that's it so we'll see you guys for the a team and stan my name is dan y'all have a good night we'll see you guys next time goodbye Bye, everybody daniel and i'm all alone <laughs> bye y'all have a good night